How's it going, everyone? No, I'm not here. Where am I? <laughs> no, I was hiding. It's that beetle, or not beetle, the shroomite armor that I have. Uh, yeah, it turns me invisible, so I can't do my standard entrance. Uh, well, it's fine. It's fine. Maryland here. Yeah, I'm finally here. So, today, I've got something big on my plate. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be rough. I need to fight against one of the optional bosses who's actually pretty darn tough. That's right, it's time to fight against Duke Fishron. So, Duke Fishron is often considered one of the more dangerous bosses in the game because he hits so hard. Not only that, it can be a little bit of a hassle getting the item you need in order to summon him, which would be these things, the truffle worms. I ended up getting a whole bunch of them. So you know what? I actually recorded some of that. I wasn't commentating. I just figured, well, let's just go ahead and, and get as much as I can. So I'm going to do a little bit of post commentary over that just to explain what I was doing. So take a look at this really quick and then we'll cut back to being live. So, you want to get some truffle worms, right? Well, you're going to need to be in an underground mushroom biome in order to find them. Now, you could make one yourself, or if you find a big enough one naturally, you can just kind of, I don't know, use it to your advantage. So, they become a little difficult to spot at first. However, if you have the uh, life form analyzer, or one of its, uh, you know, upgrades, then you'll see on the side, you know, no rare creatures nearby or truffle worm. In this case, you can see it says truffle worm. So right now I'm trying to scour the area for it. And it looks like this little kind of crawling worm thing. I can kind of see it right there. There we go. I got it. Got it. Oh yeah, that's awesome. So these spawn in the mushroom biomes. Because of this, you want to make sure you're killing a lot of the enemies that are nearby. If you have the radar, you'll be able to see exactly how many enemies are in the area. You want to try to keep this number as low as possible. And you also want to be sure to kind of stay off screen a little bit. In this instance, hopefully this kind of gives you an idea of what to look for. Um, so I'm just kind of walking back and forth and killing enemies. Anytime you see any of these like mushroom bug things or any of the other stuff, that are mushroom enemies, well, I think there's a one in three chance that any of the mushroom spawns, or mushroom enemy spawns, could be a truffle worm. So, go on, kill a bunch of the enemies, and then just kinda wait off screen for a little bit. In this case, there's a lost girl, which won't really do me much good, but I might wanna take her out, just so she won't show up on the radar. Um, I can also just kinda Go off screen for a little bit to hopefully manipulate the spawns and cause things to spawn a little quicker But as a general rule as long as you see the mushroom enemies spawning, there's a chance that you'll find a uh, Truffle worm, so I'm actually gonna dig up here and take care of this lost girl really quick. Yeah, there we go Okay, see there we go the truffle worm showing up on my uh, life form analyzer, so I should be able to go down and get it. However, it's very important to keep in mind that enemies can and will kill the truffle worm. Do you see it? It's down there. I like to do a little swoop maneuver because it will burrow underground. Oh wow, I actually got two. <laughs> nice. It will burrow underground if you're not fast enough. So as a general rule, you're better off with the golden bug net. However, it is not at all necessary, but my recommendation is just fly above it and try to land on it while you uh, swing your, your bug net. And that should make catching it rather easy. Uh, it does take some practice, but again, maybe I'll show you a few examples really quick. Oh, here's another truffle worm. Let's go ahead and see if I can get to it in time. And again, hope nothing kills it. Gotta be careful. Sometimes your uh, minions can kill it, so you have to watch out for that. Uh, it does take a sharp eye, and it looks like uh, it's somewhere nearby. Where is it? Where is it? I don't quite see it. Darn it. Uh, there it is. It's in that little corner. Ah, got it. Nice. Very nice. And there's a truffle worm. Let's see what happens. Oh, did you hear that squish? Yeah, that was that Angry Bones guy, or whatever his name is. And I think he kind of wrecked my uh, truffle worm, darn it. That's why you gotta kind of accept the fact sometimes enemies will just straight up kill your truffle worms, which is a shame, but 
not all that much you can do, really. All right, let's practice that swooping maneuver. Do I see it? Yeah, there it is. Boom! Got it. Nice. All right, let's try another swoop. There it is. Oh, yeah, look at that one right over on the right side of the screen. Can I get it? Yeah, got it. Nice. Oh, the Rod of Discord, no way. Okay, so I'm farming up the uh, the Truffle Worms, but yeah, this is a super rare item. I don't remember exactly how rare it is, but I think it's like either one in 2,500 or one in uh, 5,000. I honestly don't know. I just know I've never had it before, and it is pretty cool. I also did get the Daedalus Stormbow, which is kind of neat, and I don't know, a few other things, but yeah, this... It teleports you wherever the uh, wherever the mouse cursor is at. Now it does use up a little bit of your health, but it is really good in so many situations. So that's really cool to have gotten one. Oh my goodness, that's great! Wow. Yeah, you only get those from the chaos elementals. Oh, let's see if I can get that worm. Yeah, there we go. That's live commentary, by the way. <laughs> I was just kind of fishing for these um, in post-commentary because it's kind of boring, kind of monotonous, and you just kind of got to focus. But, yeah, long and short of it, getting these truffle worms is uh, pretty convenient in this area here. Now, this isn't, like, a proper farm or anything, but it certainly works for, you know, just a lazy area, which is nice. All you need is just... A little bit of room to run back and forth between, and you just gotta make sure you kill enemies rather often because anytime, uh, at least as far as I know, anytime that the, um, that the whatchamacallits, um, the underground mushroom, actually, I think it can be even above ground, but the, the mushroom biome enemies, of course, you have to be underground in order to find truffle worms, but yeah, anytime they spawn, there's like, I don't know, like a one in eight or some odd chance of that spawn being a truffle worm if you're underground in a mushroom biome. So I just try to keep the spawns as low as possible and uh, just fly on over if I happen to see on my little radar thingy if there's a truffle worm. And it works pretty well. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. So, yeah, this is the hallowed key. So anytime you uh, you kill an enemy in a certain biome, there is a chance, a very, very, very slim chance that you will get the uh, a biome key for it. And um, yeah, <laughs> wow, to get both the Rod of Discord and the hallowed key. The hallowed key, if I'm not mistaken, is like a one in 2,500 chance or maybe even, maybe even less of a chance. But yeah, I can go back to the dungeon and open up a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool item in one of the chests. Yeah, but again, you have to be in that biome in order to get that, uh, that key drop. Now, of course, there are even more keys than just the hallowed key, but I, uh, I need to get extremely lucky in another biome in order to get one. But hey, we'll definitely have to check that out. Wow, just my luck, my goodness. Yeah, so, you know, it did take some time getting all these truffle worms. I did get really lucky with where I uh, had that <laughs> kind of makeshift farm going. You definitely can make a farm um, yourself. You don't have to rely on finding an area that's already in the place. But yeah, point is, truffle worms are kind of a pain to get. You can get some great money for them, by the way. For instance, all this, if I just took that, I don't know, hour or so, I could make three platinum off of all that. Yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty darn good. Okay, so, um, 
I want to go fight against Duke Fishron. And in order to do that, I need to take the uh, Truffle Worms here as my bait. And then I need to go to uh, the ocean. So I set up something over at my ocean biome. Plus, I also set up this big minecart system. This thing is huge. I didn't really record it or anything. You don't really need to know much about it other than try to use the control quick uh, quick place thing. If you press control, that'll make it a little bit easier. But yeah, it just goes all the way over to uh, the ocean area. So I'm going to actually hold on. There's something I can do. Something I meant to do before doing this, of course. So... That's just the standard minecart, but you know what? You can actually make an even better minecart that goes a bit faster. Uh, it just takes some iron or lead and then some wood. Let's see if I can find it here. Yeah, there it is, the minecart. And it's definitely a little bit better. So yeah, it's not necessary to make, but if you do a lot of minecart stuff, you will appreciate the extra speed bonus. So I was going at about 51 miles per hour, once everything was all set. Well, this now will go up to, I think, 60, yeah, 66. So it definitely goes faster. If you're playing in expert mode, there is an even better minecart that you get after defeating all the mechanical bosses. However, that's not available to me in normal mode. Of course, I could take it to a normal mode world, but yeah, not happening for right now. Anyway, as you can see, this is a nice, easy way. Oh, this is also helpful this mode while building minecarts. Your head right here is where you are in the map. So it's kind of a little confusing to get used to, but once you get the hang of it, it's quite nice. Um, But yeah, I have this going all the way over here. I'm gonna hop on over there and I'll see you in just a moment. And I'm here. <laughs> I was trying to think if I wanted it to stop me right here or another option is I can do this to make it so, let's say I, uh, kind of fall off and then it just hops me off. So I don't know if that's better or worse or what, but eh, you know what? Why not? Mining potion. I don't really need that. So I guess while it's still daytime out, let me show you what I did over here. I made a little makeshift base that I'm going to set my spawn point at. Just in case I die, I don't have to go all the way back here. Is it necessary? No, but eh, you know what? Might as well. So... You want to build something, a big kind of arena. You want to make sure you have lots of room. And it needs to be over the ocean. So this should be more than sufficient. Um, also, the uh, the Master Ninja gear. I think I... I don't know if I mentioned if I sold it or not. But I think I accidentally sold my last one. So I had to make a whole bunch. Or I had to find all the stuff for it. Oh, a Goblin Scout. Huh, that's something I haven't done anything with in hard mode. Usually the goblins come invading, but they haven't. It's a little bit different in hard mode. It's not much different. There's like one new enemy to fight, so it's not too big of a deal. But yeah, having some heart lanterns and campfires, good idea. Uh, something like this should work. But the master ninja gear is really nice because you're going to need to be doing a lot of flying around and a lot of dodging in this fight. The, uh, the boss we're about to fight hits like a truck. And I know I've said that about a lot of bosses before, but this one really does. And yeah, being able to dodge will be very crucial to winning this fight. Now you could go in with beetle armor, which will definitely give you more defense. And if you're using a melee set, you know, that could help, but... Oh, a diving helmet. That's kind of cool. Oh, a pirate map. Hey, that's great. Yeah, you can farm pirate maps out in the ocean by fighting enemies in the ocean area and they're actually not too bad because whoa what is this guy oh yeah did you see me not take damage from that guy that was because i have the ninja gear which gives me a chance of dodging attacks which is kind of nice but yeah this just summons a pirate invasion so that's pretty good i might do that later and the diving helmet which i can use to make something um so I am a lot better off fighting this boss in the uh, nighttime, actually, other than visibility, trying to see the boss, which a hunter potion is a good idea. And the reason for that is I have the werewolf buff, which gives me a little bit of extra, extra oomph. It's not as important if I'm not using uh, physical melee attacks, but it's still pretty good. I'm going to be using ranged. 
Um, but you know what? Just because this boss can be fought at any time, I think we're gonna fight him the first time in the daytime. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's just wait for a little bit until it is day? And then we'll fight against the boss. I don't think there's that much more to say. Also, another nice strategy. If you're patient enough, you can make a really nice ocean arena if you have, like, the celestial shell or the mermaid shell or something that gives you water mobility. Because remember, you can fly indefinitely in the water, and that actually makes fighting the boss not too bad. Um... I'm probably going to do it up here. The other thing is you can't leave the ocean area. You don't want to go too much further than where it is. I think they increase the amount of distance you can go before he gets all aggressive, kind of like Plantera does. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to wait just a moment and uh, I will see you when it is morning. All right, well, this isn't exactly ideal. <laughs> it started raining right before dawn and uh, yeah, it's kind of cutting into my visibility, which is a shame, but, eh, oh well. It will just have to do. I waited until it's a little bit lighter out. Um, yeah, so, super duper important. Make sure, well, two things. One, that you're ready, and two, that you're in an ocean biome. If you try to do this anywhere else, you're just going to waste your, uh, your thing, your truffle worm. And you don't want to do that. Hey, get out of here. Oh, nice. <laughs> Nimbus Rod. Manic Nimbus Rod, huh? Okay. Um, yeah, well... Oh, Traveling Merchant. Well, you know what? That's fine. We'll check him out later. I don't think there's anything I really need. Alright, well... I should buff, and I should, uh, do this. I'm gonna be going with the Chlorophyte Shot Bow. It's not exactly recommended, but I had pretty good success with it, so... We're gonna see how this goes. Anyway, here goes nothing. Oh, whoops, I should probably leave it there, huh? Oh man, there it is. All right, so it will chase after you and then it'll shoot these bubble things. As you can see, having the, uh, the ability to double tap in order to dodge it is really helpful. Hopefully you can kind of get an idea of its uh, movement pattern. Oh man, there goes a Sharknado. Whoa, easy there, pal. Ow. Oh man, yeah, that hurt for sure. All right, let's get over here. Now, once it's down to half its health, it'll actually enter its second phase. Oh, there it goes. So when it starts, it'll just kind of sit still for a little bit, but then it'll do a lot more damage. Now, it does have a third phase in expert mode, but you really, uh, you're not going to run into that in normal mode. But it can do a lot of damage even in normal mode, so you have to be very careful. It also picks up its speed by a lot in, uh, in its second phase and its damage and it shoots those sharks and it has those shark tornado things yeah it's pretty rough um you just kind of don't want to lose track of it ow yeah those sharks man they hurt uh, almost almost uh, come on yeah, there we go. Duke Fishron has been defeated. Ow, and something hit me for a lot of damage. Oh, jeez, sharks everywhere. <laughs> hey, stop it. Cut it out. We're done. So I got the Tempest Staff. So, oh, this summons Sharknados to fight for me. I think that's a lot better than the uh, Xeno Staff, actually. Let's go ahead and use that. <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, man, yeah, so that was a pretty tough fight. Uh, I had... A good time with it at least but that's just from some practice again I cannot emphasize enough that having the master ninja gear or if you're playing in expert mode the eye of Cthulhu does work but I or not the eye of Cthulhu the shield of Cthulhu but just that double tap to kind of maneuver and stuff and platforms like there's all sorts of strategies for Duke Fishron but I don't know let's go ahead and fight him again what do you say 
All right, let's do it again. Yeah, just trying to keep that movement under control is so helpful. Now, using magic isn't a terrible idea against them either. Uh, it's... I don't know, it's a little tricky, but... I, I'm just so used to fighting them with these arrows and they work well. Uh, I guess I could probably switch to using bullets to fight them as well. Um, if I go with more of the tactical shotgun approach. Yeah, hopefully... Again, I apologize if I'm not explaining exactly what I'm doing. But hopefully you can get an idea of what you want to do just by watching the fight. Because um, so much of it is just learning when to dodge. Because he does have a pattern. It's a definite pattern. And once you get the hang of it, it's not too bad. But again, really, what's most important over even defense is learning how to dodge. Because he hits so hard that really just a few hits, and you're done anyway. So, you know, I guess just keep that in mind. Oh. Yikes! <laughs> that was a mess up. Alright, got him again. But remember, once you killed him, you still have these falling sharks to deal with, so... Don't, uh, don't do your victory dance just yet. Uh, Nimble Razor Blade Typhoon. I think that's a pretty good spell, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this is actually great if you happen to, uh, get this and you use magic. It just shoots, like, crazy things that I think home in on enemies and stuff. It's an amazing magic spell. Really good. Uh, not really gonna do me all that much good right now, but if you happen to do that and you're using magic... Fighting him with this is great. Like, it's a great thing to kind of upgrade. Now, there's one thing I want to get from him, actually, that'll be nice. Also, the downside is you don't get very much money from fighting him. But, again, that means you don't have to go into your, uh, your, like, piggy bank all that often. So, that's good. All right, I'm going to buff again. We're going to fight him another time. One more. Well, maybe more. I got... Oh, there we go. All right. Oh, right. You know what? I'm going to try to do this. So this is with the Chlorophyte um, bullets. And it definitely hits multiple times, that's for sure. 500 and some odd damage per second. Let's see how much that does compared to this. Oh, yeah. This is definitely much better. <laughs> I'm such a fan of the Chlorophyte shot, but well, maybe not. Let's see. Oh, man. All right, I'm going to have to kick it down here. Ow! Okay. He's he's kind of kind of getting a little rough. Oh, no, he got me. All right, should be entering a second phase soon. Oh, darn it, he's up there. <laughs> I can't see him very well. Ow, that was kind of painful. I actually didn't hit as bad as I thought, but... Yeah, the double tap to dodge is just so handy. And of course, sometimes you'll just flat out avoid the hits. Oh, shoot. I really have to watch out for those Sharknados, though. Ah! <laughs> oh, snap! Hey, pal! Take it easy! Take it easy, would ya? Woo! Uh-oh! There we go! Got him again! And uh, getting shredded by sharks! My goodness! Alright, alright, are, are we good? Are we set? Are, are we okay? Um, bubble gun and angry fish on wings! Ooh! I think these are actually better than the steampunk wings that I have. So that's good. Um, 
interesting that slow fall is one word in one of them and two words in the other. But yeah, the bubble gun is also a really nice magic weapon. It, uh, it shoots these bubbles quite rapidly, and they do a lot of damage when they hit. Okay, so how did I like that tactical shotgun? You know what, I'm gonna try that a little bit more this time around. Um, and I'm also going to set up some Nimbus Rod action here. Okay, let's do this again and see how this one goes. Oh, darn it! <laughs> Oh, it was the traveling merchant. I thought it was Duke Fishron. I only heard the sound. I wasn't even looking. All right, there we go. Now, last time I was trying this, I forgot to switch out my Shroomite stuff, so I didn't have the extra damage, which isn't very good. But yeah, this works fairly well. The uh, Chlorophyte bullets, of course, you know, they home in on them. So that makes kind of targeting rather easy. Unfortunately, this... Oh, it does have auto-shoot. Wow, I was thinking it didn't even have auto-shoot. But it does. Whoa! I guess I probably shouldn't have the magic quiver for this. It's really not necessary. Heart Reach potions are also a really good idea because I think some of the sharks can drop, uh, they can drop hearts, which you can, you know, heal with. Alright, we're just gonna hope this works. I do feel like this is slower than my holy arrows and the shot bow, but that's okay. Whoa! Whole ton of sharks down there. Yeah, it's definitely a lot harder fighting him at in the darkness, just because it's hard to see, but you could use a... Oh, this is bad. No! Oh, I think I'm gonna die. Or maybe not. Yeah, I died. <laughs> Darn it! Oh, well, it's fine. That's why I'm gonna stick to my tried-and-true method of the chlorophyte shot bow. Just so I know what I'm doing. All right, but yeah, as you can see, if he kind of gets a jump on you, it can be nasty. It can be really nasty. You can do a lot of damage. Um, oh, hey, guy, what's up? All right, let's uh, let's wait for my life to regenerate here. And then I'm going to fight him once more. I'm actually going to, well, uh, let's see. I'm probably better off with the ones, but let's see. Ooh, this is nice. Ow, you jerk. Wow, these wings have so much better, like, movement and stuff. Look at how fast I go upward. Whoa! Holy smokes! Yeah, these are great wings. It's a rather rare drop, though, getting them, so... Don't count on it. Alright, well, I guess let's do this again, and we're just gonna use the shot bow this time. Again, I'm most comfortable with it, so... Avnines, go with what you're comfortable with. Oh my goodness! These wings are so much better, though! Wow! I'll have to modify these to make sure they're... They've got a good, uh, modifier to them.
Oh, man. Yeah, that was a fearsome fight. Oh, jeez. Ah, oh, sharks everywhere. Sharks everywhere. Hold on now. All right, let's get my drops. Uh, looks like another razor blade typhoon. Ah. Oh, well, that's okay. Oh, I ran out of buffs. No wonder. Godly Flyron. Yeah, this is, what is this thing? I think it's a, yeah, it's a melee weapon. And it kind of spits bubbles around. It's pretty strong, actually, if you're using melee. So definitely worth picking up. Oh, I just want to get the one item that I really want. Hopefully I'll be able to get it. There it is. That's what I've been looking for all this time. Um, yeah, this is... Oh, nice. It's unreal. That's like the best modifier you can get for it. The Tsunami. Okay, you know how much I love my Chlorified Shot Bow, right? This is such an upgrade to it. Not only does it shoot five arrows at a time instead of three, it has... So much more power. Watch how quickly I just rip uh, this guy to shreds. It won't even be funny. All right, here we go. This is just like, it's going to be a joke. Oh, man, it took me like 15 tries to get it, I think. Yeah, because I think I started with uh, 33 and I died once. All right, watch this. Look at this. It's just unreal. I mean, literally. <laughs> It's just like a wave of arrows that just destroy anything. Look, he's already in his second phase. Sup, Duke Fishron? You even gonna hit me once or nah? Nope. And already dead. Yeah. Didn't even take a hit. And I got another tsunami. Oh, you don't count, Sharknado. Ow, you jerks. Yeah, so definitely one of my favorite weapons in the whole game, the Tsunami. It's just so powerful. My goodness, I love it. It's just like you can't beat it. Um, I think there might possibly be a better bow, but I honestly don't think so. Needless to say, this is going to be so helpful for the final fights of the game. Well, anyway, that's really the main thing I wanted to get from the Duke. So I think I'm going to leave things off here. I might farm Duke Fishron a few times just on my own. But you know what? I think uh, this will do for right now. Although I do have my buffs up. I really, I, I should do another. <laughs> I got a Duke Fisher on mask. That looks pretty sick, actually. I like it. All right, so now I'm all set. There's just two more things I want to do really quick. First of all, that's show you I got some pirate maps. I did end up getting three pirate maps, which is very good. These are typically pretty rare. And then uh, the other thing is I have this hallowed key. So you know what? Let's run over to the dungeon really fast and open that up. I got that at the same time as the uh, Rata Discord. 
So yeah, I was pretty lucky today, man. Other than getting the tempest, um, yeah, or the tsunami. I'm sorry. Other than getting that, but the one I did get is like unreal, like literally unreal. So I mean, I'm fine having it wait a bit. Anyway, I'm gonna hop over to the dungeon now that party time's over. I'll see you in just a moment. Man, this fly run's amazing. <laughs> These bubbles, they do like home in on enemies and do a ton of damage. I love this thing. It even has auto swing, nice. Okay, so I found the uh, the hallowed chest. I'm pretty sure that's that thing right over there. And I have the key for it, so woohoo! Oh, hey, Keyblade. <laughs> nice. Yeah, so, um, yeah. So these are, again, rare drops from enemies in the Hallow. Oh, hey, guy. But they'll always contain the same item as long, well, as <laughs> along with other items. So in this case, you know, some torches and stuff, but no, oh, platinum? Eh, okay. Let me get rid of these musket balls. So this is the main prize from the Hallowed Chest. The Furious, well, I guess it's just called a rainbow gun. It just has the Furious modifier. So yeah, the rainbow gun shoots rainbows. And it's uh, actually pretty nice, because it'll just do constant damage. Um, <laughs> as long as any enemy takes, I don't know, damage, or as long as they uh, touch the rainbow, I guess. So it can be great. You can kind of like guide it a little bit. And it, like the Nimbus Rod, are great at just doing some passive damage, which is awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and take this chest along with me. Uh, let's get rid of some bones, I guess. I don't really need that. All right, well, that's all I really wanted to show you. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed, and I will see you on the next episode of Maryland's Terraria Adventure. See you next time, Halloween. Oh, yeah.